So it is February, which means it's time for another Arlington, Texas NARBC Reptile Expo. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna check out this year's cutting edge reptiles. There is so much to see at one of these expos. And because this is an NARBC Expo, I'm also gonna dole out a whole new batch of Rattle On Awards, and I'm gonna let you guys pick one of the winners. So we're gonna take a little break from the Madagascar videos, which will resume next week. And we're gonna go in and check out the February 2023 NARBC Reptile Expo right here in Arlington, Texas. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. All right, so this expo hasn't even opened yet, and there's already VIPers in here. If you want a VIP pass to the NARBC expos, those VIP passes pay for themselves because you get early access to all these vendors before anybody in the general public does. Look into getting one of those VIP passes, but right now, I'm gonna show you guys this amazing expo. That I love about coming to expos like this is when people come up to me and they're so excited to show me what they've got, especially kids. And I've said it before that kids are the future of this entire industry. So when they come up to me and show me their brand new reptile and their faces light up, man, there's nothing better than that. Okay, my name is Sierra. I'm eight years old and this is my first snake. I was inspired by Dave and the And you're talking team. about me, right? Yes. Not I'm another talking day? about you, cameraman. Okay, good, good, good. I like all right, all right. And look at that snake. That is awesome. I know. So you got a vanilla blade, het clown, and is that a boy or girl? It's a male. It's a male. Yeah. Awesome. And this is your first snake. Yes, very first one. And I see you're wearing a microphone, so are you filming this for, like, say, YouTube? Yes. Yes? Yes. And you're going to be a YouTuber? Maybe. Are you going to be like Catalia, or are you going to be like Emily, or are you going to be like me? <laughs> I? Just, just say me. Uh, cattle. Yeah. Aww, Sorry, completely but I dissed. Sorry, but I <laughs> you're a girl. You're a boy. I, that, well, you know that that is true. All right, so this is Ozzy, one of my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all of your support. Absolutely. I really appreciate that. But look what you got here. I mean, yes. these are amazing. This is a rainbow amoeba or a rainbow whip tail. Look at the colors on that. The blues, the greens, yeah. the oranges, the, the yellows. beautiful male. Man, those are amazing. So these are one of those reptiles that not a lot of people even know no. exists. Yeah. And not a lot of people are working with. Are you working with these? Yes, I'm trying to. I did such underrated yeah. lizards. Just amazing. Wow, well, yeah. enjoy your lizards. And Absolutely. thank you again for being a Patreon supporter. <laughs> You're awesome. Thank awesome. you. And here we have Lily again. Now, we saw you last year when I was here. And you had an axolotl which was the coolest axolotl ever, but now you got something better. Or is it better or is it different? Different. Different, all right, let's go with different. What do you got? I got a variable <laughs> king. You got a variable king, I love it, okay. And then? And a honey motley. You're good. And a honey motley corn snake, so cool. And another honey motley corn snake. So now you have two honey motley corn snakes. So what happens when you put a honey motley corn snake and pair it with another honey motley corn snake? What do you get? You get babies. That's that's a good answer. I was looking for more honey motley corn snakes, but yes, your answer was much better. It is so good to see you again. Are you having fun? Awesome. All right, good seeing you. Let's see you soon. Have fun. All right, so we just ran into another pirate. Now, Snake Discovery's theme for this is being a pirate. Uh, yep. Did you get your pin or were they? Or I didn't get a pin. Oh man. I got a pin of uh, Patient Zero from Pangea though. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, and so what did we get at the expo here? A uh, Saharan sand boa. Whoa! You know, it's so funny because a lot of people think that these are Kenyan sand boas, mm -hmm. but they're not. That is really awesome. Are you into sand boas? Well, this is my first snake. Well, your first snake ever? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. And so why did you choose a sand boa for your first snake? They're really easy to take care of and they're just really pretty and I really like them. That's a great answer. This is Sandra GT Snurson. Snurson for snake person. Snurson. I like it. I like it a lot. That is fantastic. And what is your name? Hope Beck. Hope Beck. Very good to meet you. You got a really awesome snake. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. Bye. You too. Bye.
Oh, okay, that's just about enough of that. Um, this may be the weirdest thing that I've ever filmed at a reptile expo. Right there. This weird axolotl. And he just acknowledged that he is in fact weird. So it's time to give out the February 2023 Rattle On Awards for the NARBC here in Arlington, Texas, and we're gonna give those awards out right after this. Rainbow Mealworms is not only a proud sponsor of this channel, they are the premier source for all your reptile food needs. They grow all of their quality insects in-house, and I use them exclusively for all my insect-eating reptiles. So place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net or click the link in the description below. So we're going to start this year's Rattle On Awards off with tradition. Catalia is going to present the award for the best lizard here. All right, Kat, so what have we found here at Eclectic Reptiles? So, yes, we are here at Eclectic Reptiles, and I have found a giant blue beauty anole. And what I know about these guys is, for one, they end up being one of the most colorful and beautiful anole species, if not the most beautiful. I think they are the most beautiful. Yes. I absolutely love these lizards. And eventually I'm going to get a colony of them. Mm -hmm. I just have to pull the trigger on it. You should. I should. There's some here today. I... <laughs> also, they are one of the largest anole species. I'm not sure what the largest is, but I know that they are one of the biggest. This is not fully grown. This is not even close. Well, what's interesting is that these come from a small island off the coast of Cuba, and the largest anole species actually is on the mainland of Cuba. Oh, okay. The Cuban night anole. The cu that's right. Yep. Are these like the close second? They are a close second, but these are so colorful. This guy is not fired up at all. Mm -hmm. They get way prettier. But those turquoise blues will just pop when these guys are fired up. It's kind of like having a bad hair day, you know? Like if you're not fired up for a lizard, it's a bad fired up day, <laughs> Bad right? fired up day, Bad yeah. fired, He's bad missing hair day. those beautiful blues. These are going to be so popular coming up here. I think and anoles are coming I, up here. I agree, and yeah, I think that the these are going to be the most popular lizards uh, they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. They are easy to work with. This yep. one is so chill. Look at this. He's just sitting on Catalia's arm. They can be a little bit flighty, but this one, look at him. He well, is just chilling out. So they're fairly intelligent reptiles. Yes, they are. Yep. And they are really amazing reptiles. So this is David from Eclectic Reptiles. And how long have you been working with these? Since... 2019? Since 2019. I've been breeding them for about two and a half, two and a half years now. I'm our third generation of them. And where are you out of and how do people get a hold of you? So I'm outside of San Antonio. I have a Facebook page, Eclectic Reptile. Um, you can go on there. I've got my phone number on there and email on there where you can reach me. Okay. So if anybody out there wants a pair of these amazing lizards, go to Eclectic Reptiles Facebook page, and I will also put that link in the description below. So because these are such an uncommon species, this is probably the only one I've seen at an Arlington NARBC in quite a while. Um, and because they're so beautifully colored and so unique, so that's why this is my pick for the 2023 NARBC Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. So when it comes to the Rattle On Award winner for the best snake here, I'm gonna let you guys decide the winner. So I'm gonna pick out three contestants that I found, three, up here, three, three contestants that I found here at the Expo. And as you're watching this video, pop on over to the community tab. There's a poll there where you guys can vote on the best snake for the February 2023 NARBC Arlington, Texas Rattle On Award for the best snake here. Let's meet those three contestants. So contestant number one for the Rattle On Award for the best snake here is this little dude. This is a watermelon anaconda hognose snake, and it's also het albino and het sable. So this is a powerhouse of a little hognose snake. But one of the things that I love about the watermelon gene is the greens that it brings out in these snakes. And I don't know if the camera's gonna translate it very well, but this guy is green. Those blotches have these really rich kind of 
army green color to them on an anaconda pattern. This is one awesome hognose snake. And this guy was bred by TBM Reptiles in Florida. This is just one absolutely amazing hognose snake. So make sure to check out that community tab to vote on your favorite for the best snake here. So contestant number two is this big guy. Now we all know that I love pides and this is epic. Burmese Pied, found here at Bob Clark Reptiles. He produces some of the most amazing pythons. We all know this, but look at this amazing Pied Burmese Python. And one of the things about Pieds here, you just put your tail right there and get comfortable. One of the things that I love about Pieds is how just handleable they are. Wait, come here, just, no, 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 go over here. There, there we go. And one of the things that I love about Pieds is that that pattern just gets all nice and jumbly. Why are you going right towards my face? He's in shed right now, so he just isn't gonna pop like he would if he sheds, which he probably will in three days after I film this. But when you add pied to a big, beautiful Burmese python like this, man, you have got just one amazing snake. So this is contestant number two. So again, be sure to check out that community tab and vote for your favorite for the February 2023 NARBC Rattle On Awards for the best snake here. All right, Bob's, Bob's not, Bob's helping a customer, so I'm just gonna take this and go. So guys, contestant number three is found right here at Split Rock Reptiles. When I was in Northern Australia, we found black-headed pythons in the wild, but none like this. This is actually an axanthic blackhead python, black-headed python, but can you imagine finding one of these in the wild, man? I would get arrested at the airport if I found one of these in the wild, I'm telling you. But man, when you have a snake that is as gorgeous as a black-headed python is, and then have it be a xanthic, which really makes those whites just bleach white and those blacks just pop. Just look at the contrast in this snake. Man, these are amazing. And there are not a lot of people out there working with black-headed pythons to begin with but there's really not a lot working with the Azanthic line. Now, one of the things I truly love about this genus of python, this is from the genus Aspidites. These are also related to Woma pythons, and these are unique amongst all pythons for one main reason. These guys don't have heat pits like other pythons do. This is contestant number three. Again, keep an eye on that community tab and vote for your pick for the February 2023 Rattle On Award for the best snake here. Is it gonna be the hognose snake? Is it gonna be the Pied Burmese Python? Or is it gonna be this amazing Azanthic black-headed python? What an amazing snake this is. So for the Rattle On Award for the best new reptile product, I'm looking around for Brian Cusco, who never seems to show up when I need him. He doesn't show up to Thailand, and I'm supposed to meet him right here. For him to be the guest judge, to show us what his pick is for the best new reptile product. And he's, oh, hi, he's right over there. Mr. Brian Cusco, Miss. who did not show up to Thailand. What have we got for the best new reptile product here at the NARBC Arlington, Texas Expo? Right before I show you the next best reptile product here at the NARBC Arlington Expo, I wanna tell you what we've got is a little tiny spot in my heart that says, stay sad always because of the fact that I didn't meet you in Thailand and it's going to live there forever and ever so, and ever and ever and ever but as far as the product yes let's see the product right here, the new incubators they're just Mike Wilbank's uh, new line of incubators first time being revealed at a show and just really well put together um, really beautiful I mean it's like a custom wine rack almost and it just looks good it smells good honestly I was just going to say it, it has a very pleasing aroma yeah. Not unlike Drakkar. Drakkar? Yeah, it's a it's a cologne from maybe the 90s. Okay. But yeah. Still good. Still good. There's still some good smell to that. But I mean, Drakkar. it's an incubator made by a guy who has incubated thousands of ball python. Thousands. Clutches, thousands and thousands. thousands. And so you know that he probably put all the little things that he wanted to have in it. Yeah. And there you go. But here's the cool thing: you can set this to incubate or you can set this to brumate. So this can go down to 50 degrees and you can actually brumate colubrids in this enclosure, in this, well, what are we calling it? I mean, it's, it's not a, like it's an, an incubator, incubator. Well, if it's it brumate. It's an incubrumator. Incubrumator. <laughs> incubrumator. 
<laughs> right? Yes, we have to rebrand it. Inky Brewmater. Look at this, he even has his name on the box. Do you know how expensive it is to have your name on a box? Um, I've put my name on a box. Seriously, do you, you have know, any expensive. idea? Because I don't, I have no idea it, how much that costs. I mean, this is really cool, really innovative. And look at this, you can like set it here. I don't, what, what's this light. button do? Oh, this is the light button? Up and down, light on and off. There, Simple. that button. Oh, they and they beep. Look at that, you can set the temperatures here. So if you want to incubate eggs at 99 degrees, which you never would, but you can. And and then the little red light comes on that says that you just killed everybody. So let's just, wait a minute. So let's just, I think I broke it. Oh no, Mike's gonna, Mike's gonna charge me for this. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, so like if you want to, uh, you know, like brewmate colubrid eggs, boom, colubrid eggs. You want to brewmate, or you want to incubate, see, and now I'm all confused. Ball python eggs, boom, ball python eggs. And it'll tell you what the temperature is currently. Okay, this is like the coolest thing ever. I need to get some of these in my facility. Yeah. These are really cool. This is a really good pick for the Rattle On Awards. Thanks, and that's surprising. For the best new reptile product. Yeah, and it's surprising because I don't usually pick good things. No, you do not, and I don't know why I keep asking you to do it, but here we are. Because you're waiting for this moment when this I like, moment, actually nailed it. This moment, when you nail actually it. nailed it. And you nailed it. Awesome. All kidding aside, if that's possible with me and Brian, which it never is, uh, Brian did pick out a really good Best New Reptile product, and you can see why Mike Wilbank's new uh, Incubrumator machine, I don't know actually what he's calling these. Oh, I guess it says it right there, homeostatic incubator. See, Mike, you getting your name printed on the box has just paid off. There it is. But you can see why these are the pick for the February 2023 Rattle On Awards for the best new product here at the NARBC Arlington, Texas Reptile Expo. Best new product. Very good, Brian. Very good. Hey Emily. I can still finish that. Yes. Are you uh, are you done now after yeah. 15 solid hours of meeting fans? <laughs> yeah. Well, we could keep going, but there's the last hour of the show, so we have to buy stuff for our store really quick because we need inventory. This theme was pirates, right? So yes. you had to dress up like a pirate to get. Do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? Arr. I was wondering if it was that. All right, I'm leaving. Uh, Goodbye. All right, yeah. See ya. So when it comes to the Rattle On Award winning category for the best new breeder, this is my favorite category because listen, when you start a reptile business, it can be very difficult to market yourself, to get people to know that you're even there. Hopefully, it gives some of these really deserving brand new companies a little boost. And before I give out this award, I will go around and I will seek out the new breeders. I'll interview them, find out what they're working with, what their hopes and dreams for their company is. There's a lot of groundwork that I do before I give out the award for the best new breeder. And at this particular expo, I think I found a really good and deserving award winner for the best new breeder. All right, so you guys are from Anoli's Critters. You guys are local, right? Mm -hmm. What's your name? So I'm Cameron. Cameron. I'm Romy. And I'm Jameer. Good to meet you guys. So when I look for the Rattle On Award for the best new breeder, I look for guys exactly like you. You know, guys that are friends that decided to start a business and specialize in one or two basic things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, one of the things that you specialize in is... Um, fire belly toads and yellow belly toads. Which is so cool because they used to be everywhere. Yeah. And now they're pretty rare to find. Mm -hmm. So, show me some of your stuff here. So, right here, start with the breeding pair. These are our yellow belly toads. They're about a year old breeding pair, male and female. You can see that beautiful yellow on their stomach right there. Yeah, for sure. And uh, here are some of their offspring. So they're albino translucent leucistic hat. So here's an albino. Oh my god, I don't even know if I can like get that on yeah, camera. Look at that, that little that dinky like dude. So little. We started, um, we got tired of working our Walmart job. So yeah. we started a <laughs> lawn company. But while mowing lawns, we found lots of lizards and stuff. 
and there was this green anole that I had to move. It was in the way of my weed whacker. I didn't want to kill it. Good for and you, man. It bit me. <laughs> so we was like, hey, let's name our business Anolis. So then we sent the name. We told my brother here to make a logo. Yeah. He spelt Anolis <laughs> wrong, but it looked so good, we kept it. That's pretty yeah. awesome. All right, so you're working really with fire bellies. Yeah, these uh, these are my favorite animals. Uh, huge fan of these species. I spent $1,200 just to get all six of my frogs. $1,200 on these frogs. Because they were so hard to get, but I was down bad, and it was worth it. Cause. Well, and now you've got your own table here. You're starting a business together. Mm -hmm. And you're working with something that, listen, 30 years ago, yeah. maybe not even 30 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, I think it was these, these frogs were $10 each at any drugstore in the country. Yeah. So you quit your job at Walmart, mm -hmm. you're starting a business, you're breeding frogs, yeah. you guys are starting off right. You guys are exactly what I look for for the Rattle On Award for the best new breeders, and you guys deserve it. You guys are on your way to... Oh, we a want lot to of be, success. We want to be the better pet store. We want to be as big as Petco, PetSmart, healthier animals, uh, the Walmart of the pet world. You know, high-end animals, better prices. That is so awesome. Teach people, educate. You guys are awesome, and that is why it is a no-brainer that you guys are the Rattle On Award winners for the best new breeder here at the February 2023 Arlington NARBC Reptile Expo. So well-deserved, guys. So guys, that's it. That's the end of this expo. Everybody's breaking down, loading up their truck, and heading off to Chicago for the Tinley Park Reptile Expo, which is happening next month. Guys, Madagascar videos will resume next week, so keep an eye out for those videos. Guys, real quick, I just want to give a real quick shout out and a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter and support reptile education, on this channel for as little as three dollars a month you can get rattle on swag early access to my videos and a bunch of other stuff that link is in the description below go check it out and please consider becoming a patreon supporter of this channel be sure to check out that community tab and vote for your pick for the best snake here and guys until the next reptile adventure from madagascar love the planet feed your reptile obsession and rattle on